So we have 30 minutes into our flight. Got taken to this rushed baggage claim in order to make our flight. This is us on the train booking it. We only have five minutes until our gate closes, but we made it. Well, we didn't make it, but they let us on after like 30 minutes. They closed the gate, but they let us on. Here we are in the shuttle on the way to the rental car place and the girls are having the time of their lives. The only shoes I brought broke in the airport. So we ended up having such an issue with getting a rental car. So many people were trying to scam us and this car ended up having a donut on it. This is us cooling off the food for the girls because they were literally screaming at us to eat. <laughs> It rained the first night, so we kind of just sat outside and watched the rain, which was so nice because it was a covered patio. And me and Penelope, we decided to go ahead and play in the rain, which was such a core memory of mine. Oh, we're in the rain! <laughs> She's looking at me like I am literally crazy. Like, girl, why do you have us out here? Park, which is this nice park in Cancun where you can go swim, they have some notes and everything. We just got here and we're gonna stay here for the whole day. We're gonna do like the night show and everything. And um, basically, yesterday was insane. That's why I'm just now getting on to catch you guys up. We ended up getting to the airport and we were in the wrong terminal. We were supposed to be in the domestic terminal, not the international. And so we had to drive 10 minutes away, got there an hour before our flight. Then we ended up having to stand at the back of the line for the baggage claim, which wrapped all the way around. By the time we even got like halfway through the line, we only had 30 minutes left till our flight boarded. And then all of a sudden this lady like comes up and tells us to come outside and she was gonna like take everybody that's going to Cancun now. And she's like rushing us and like we get out there and she's like, you guys are gonna have to literally run for your flight. So we ended up getting our bags checked and we, my uh, baggage was overweight. So I ended up having to pay a hundred dollars extra, which was crazy. And then we ended up getting on the like train or whatever, getting there. And we had like 15 minutes to get to our flight. We get there and then Glenda has to go pee. So she stopped to go pee and literally like we get to the gate and they're like, yeah, the gate's closed. I'm sorry, you can't. And we had just missed it like two minutes. So we stood there and we're like, okay, we're just gonna have to rebook for like the 9.30 flight or 11 flight. And um, we were just waiting for somebody to come and redo our redo our tickets and then all of a sudden they came out and they were just like y'all trying to get on this plane or not and we were like what and it, i mean we sat there and waited for like 30 minutes and so i guess something was going on with the plane and they decided to let us on it was the craziest thing ever because we had already like just dismissed the fact that we were getting on this flight we get on the plane and the pilot is so freaking sweet he's like pick whatever seat you want from like 14 to 29 we ended up getting a rose to ourselves. So I had my daughter and me, an uh, empty seat. She had her daughter and her next to us with an empty seat. It was amazing. Best flight ever. So yeah. I'm 
This 80 bus to the left of us literally pushed us off the road. Like we're currently not on the road. As you can see right here. So they literally will force you off the road, which is crazy. Hi guys, so Cancun has been amazing. I'm in the pool right now drinking some wine. Linda's upstairs putting her baby to sleep, so if you hear some crying, that's her daughter. My daughter's already asleep. She's knocked out, and um, we're just getting some footage in the pool, just enjoying drinks, talking. It's this honestly, this has been the best Mother's Day trip that we could have taken. Like I said, I haven't seen her in ten years, so this is. This is priceless. Like seeing our kids together, we met in like fifth grade. So seeing our kids together, we haven't seen each other in 10 years. Like it's, it's been great. So just in the pool, they're doing some content. Um, today we went to the beach. We went to Playa del Fina, del Finas. And um, it wasn't really hitting. There was a lot of seaweed. Um, there was a lot of sand to get, but yeah, Playa del Finas wasn't really hidden. There was a lot of sand to get to the water. And so we had to, we took the strollers down there and she was like, let's just leave the strollers. But I know my daughter and I know that she's going to try to run from me and try to get me to chase her. So I was like, no, let's bring the strollers. We're going to regret it if we don't. And we brought them down. It was a steep hill and everybody kept warning us, like all the workers that worked there, they were like, you're gonna get stuck like they were telling us in spanish like you're gonna get stuck don't do it i'm telling you don't go down there with them and we did um they got in the water a little bit but we couldn't really get in it was you know a lot of waves but um we just let them sit and get splashed by the water a little bit and then we got super hot and we're like let's go back to our house where the pool is um we'll just try this again tomorrow with the better beach so yeah um coming back up with those strollers was terrible like literally insane because so i'm pulling up the stroller my my daughter ends up going to the car with my friends both of the, our daughters went with her and she was like just go back for your stroller so i went back for the stroller and this guy sees me and he's like oh you want me to help you and i'm like yeah sure you know he's like oh my god you speak english where are you from and i was like i'm from canada i said i was from canada because you know we gotta be safe girlies so but I was from Canada and he was like, oh, I'm from the United States. Like, I'm from um, Georgia. And I'm like, oh, nice. No, knowing dang well I'm from Georgia too. He's like, yeah, I'm from Atlanta. And I'm from Atlanta. And it was just so funny because I was just acting like I didn't know where those places were. But um, we were from the same exact place and he was just like, what are you getting into tonight? And I was like, I'm married. And he was like, of course you are. And I was like, yes, I am. And yeah, that was the end of that. And then I went to go rinse off in the little shower, outdoor shower thing. And he saw me, he was, he was leaving on his scooter. And he's like, have a great vacation. I was like, Tomorrow we're gonna go back to Estate because that was a vibe. Honestly, the cenotes, as you see in the footage, was hidden. I'm sorry for this dog is barking in the background. I don't know where this coming from, but yeah, 
We're gonna go back because that was honestly the best environment for having kids. Because everything's in one place. You know, you have the cemetery, you have the beach, you have a river, you have like all these pools where you can swim and snorkel. Like shows, dinner shows, like they have food. Everything is already in one place. So you don't have to worry about driving all around. Um, they had an amazing time. As you can see in the footage, like we had an amazing time at Ascare. So we're gonna go back tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna go to Isla Morales. Morales or Morales? Yeah, this is my swimsuit. My swimsuit on. This one is called Earth. It's the, the sequin one of the collection. Um, sorry, I have like my tits all in y'all's face, but that's what a bikini is. So, yeah. Just, that would be Same one. Not my drunky self making a TikTok and then hitting my head. Mm -hmm. I hit my head. I'm looking like a whole crackhead. What the hell? We're up here on the balcony watching people cut grass at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Why is that so freaking big? <gasps> that shit is so big. You? I've never seen something like this. That shit's like. I think you're. I killed the y'all. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. That was a diaper. <laughs> Did it close? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh if it comes right back. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh.